Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to our back patio makeover. I'm gonna kind of show you a beginning. So we have a few things set up just because we were here and we had family over and they were helping us put things together. So like the fire pit area started. I still wanna do like string lights and make this area nice and cozy. Um, I wanna get flowers for these flower pots which right now are full of like pool equipment. I don't know if you can see all in there. Um, this one has like towels in it, but Chase just put together my storage box. Um, so now all of that can go in there. So I need to pick a spot for that. I have towels like in that bathroom. I have towels here. I have water stuff. Um, my mother-in-law and myself put the trash can together. So that was nice. We have the Traeger, the fan, cause it's just nice when you get hot out here to have a fan on you. And then we have one of these chairs put together, but we have, I think three more to set up over here somewhere. Um, so we have a lot of little stuff to do, but here's the pool, here's the backyard. I'll come back here so you can see it from a different angle. Um, I'll try to show you the pool at night. It's really cool. It has lights that we can change on it. Um, but here is what we're going to be working with. The sky is beautiful today. I love a blue sky with white fluffy clouds. Um, so the back's already pretty, but we're just going to kind of like level it up is what I like to say. <laughs> um, we have a dining table and chairs I want for in here. So basically we're going to start all of our projects back here now. Originally, I thought this would go right here. I'm trying to decide. I kind of like the idea of it being like below the TV right here and in the shade. Um, but we're going to have table and chairs there. So I don't know how tight it's going to be. So I'm either going to put it here. I'll try it here first. But if that's too tight, I might leave it here. But since it's black and stuff, I really would like it underneath this area. I just don't know. Like I need to figure out the width of our table to see if like both things could fit here. Plus this is like the walkway to the bathroom so I probably won't do that we'll probably put it over here it's so hard to stay on top of the world when the world keeps telling you who you should be all these people telling you what you need oh darling only you can set your spirit free pay attention now I ain't gonna stop it stop it honey everything you need is in your pocket This is all looking good so far. Like this is a really good size bench we went with this time. Um, I had extra organizers left over from like my pantry makeover. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here instead of it being one big mess and things getting missed or you don't realize they're in there. I'm gonna kind of like divide it up. So like goggles can be in one and toys and so on. this turned out so well i'm so excited about it i do have more towels but they're in the washer but there's like plenty of room to stack them up i'm gonna go buy a ton of sunscreen and all that stuff for here we could add a few more like water toys but other than that we have a little bit of everything i feel like when it's all in one bucket it just gets scratched up you don't know what's in there so i like that this is like divided girls can see what they need they can even just grab the whole bucket like all of these could technically just go in there and then um, this could be something else. So if they want all those water toys, they just pick them up and take it to the pool with them. So this storage is really nice and like it kind of like opens up on its own. So if you're needing something like that, I will link it because it's really nice to have. I probably shouldn't slam it shut like that, but it's kind of heavy. <laughs> um, but yeah, already it's made a difference. I've cleared this out. I may get rid of that. I don't know if I'll use it out here. Maybe like in between the chairs over there. Um, so yeah, just doing that little bit, like cleared a ton out. And um, I can't wait to get flowers, just like some pop of color out here by those. 
Um, over here, um, our realtor got us a gift and it was basically pool stuff for Savvy, which I thought was really fun. But I left this out here so I can dump water in it. So if the girls are like going to jump and they get grassy, they can come stick their feet in there before they jump in the pool so the pool stays clean. I even did that with the above ground pool. So just have a little bucket somewhere, but I felt like this one was perfect. So I keep it empty until the girls are out here, but then I'll just scoop up pool water. They can run. I'll even put it probably more on that side because they'll run over here and then jump off the waterfall. So we're getting it set up. I'm just ready to like put everything together and make it look super pretty. So we just had an order come in and we are going to put the stones or rocks. What do you even call those? Uh, they're, they're basically fire pit rocks. Yeah, fire pit rocks. The ones that they came with were like those red, like lava rocks, which just isn't my vibe. <laughs> and so Chase found, oh, very pretty. They're like a black, shiny mirror like. Yeah. Very cool. They're going to look good. I thought even we could either do black, charcoal, or turquoise. Whoa. That looks amazing. So much better than like the red, orangey rocks. Plus, it's a little more glam. I'll come out here and get footage like tonight with the fire pit on, but oh, I love it. And I feel like this was made for these chairs. Like this is looking so good. I'm watching where I'm going. I'm gonna fall in the pool walking backwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is looking, I need to like even up the chairs a little bit on this side. We keep moving them around, but I feel like that looks really good. We are putting together the patio table now. It's actually a little bit smaller <laughs> than it looked like in the store. So I'm curious to see how it works around here. I will say like at the last house, we don't use it a ton. It's mainly just kids eating lunch, so we may not need a ton of space. It'll be easier to clean. But what's nice is like all you have to do is put the legs on and then it's gonna be done. I don't know how the chairs are gonna be, but hopefully they're kind of the same way. Not too much work. Now that we have the table put together, we're gonna start on the chair. So the two in chairs are kind of like swivel chairs and then there'll be two on each side, so a total of six. We're gonna start with the bigger ones and then the other ones should go even quicker, I would think. So I told myself no cushions or pillows. This set came with them, but it's gonna be tucked under here so I'm not too worried. I'm not gonna put pillows on them, but I'll do the cushions, but nothing else. I'm done chasing pillows across the yard. That's right. No and I think Chase is done too. <laughs> no that poor sectional was always like in the middle of our yard. Uh, so I'm like, over every windstorm. Yeah, so we're getting heavy That's furniture so tucked under. Those are the only cushions we're gonna have out here. This is what you've been waiting for. When it all comes and you can just let go. Honey, this is all that you want and more. When you open your mind and open the front door. Anyway, 
Now we're putting the four chairs together. I think it's gonna go pretty fast. For this to be like a six chair and a table, it's not that bad to put together if you're needing one. We put way worse things together. And by we, I mean him. <laughs> I have to watch though. Yeah. The table turned out perfect. I honestly thought it was gonna be too small. I was used to our like really long one at the last house, um, but it's perfect. Since we got all the chairs there, it really fills up some space. I was not gonna put a rug out here, but I feel like it calls for it. I feel like it's gonna ground it. And honestly, we've had a lot of rain and nothing really gets underneath here because the storms come from like that direction and this is like tucked in. So I think I am gonna pick out a rug, but it looks so good. We'll be putting up a TV there. We already put together the trash can. We've worked on the fire pit. I do wanna do patio lights, so I hope we get to that in this video. I'm still processing the chairs. Um, I'll take you inside though, so you can see what this looks like from the living room, because it matters what I put here, because you can see it like as soon as you walk in my front door. So when you're in my living room, you see it. I will say it's like evening now, so it's not as bright, but I feel like it looks really good out there. I really do think I need a rug though. It'll look cool with the TV, and then you can just grab a chair. These end ones are actually super comfortable because they kind of like recline and swivel. So those will be perfect. Um, it's getting closer. I need to put something on it, but I'm wanting something that's like concrete with something in it, but I don't want it to blow over. I'm gonna see if I have anything in the house. If I do, I'll go ahead and decorate it right now for us. So I'm just gonna use this piece as an example, but I think something like this would look good out there. I also have that long planter over there that's concrete. That may look good too, but I'm gonna try this out here just to know I feel like it's helpful to use pieces in your house so when you're out searching, you're getting what you need. Because if I put this out here and I don't like it, then I know not to buy it. But, think something like that, Chase? I love that. Yeah, that's good. I just think of all that greenery with all the bugs we have, but it's just out here. Yeah. Even if the face is full of bugs. bugs. <laughs> it's, bugs. it's a new day, new project. <laughs> Today we're up gonna drop a TV and shatter it. <laughs> We're trying to get this hung out here. Um, so he always holds it up so I can decide like the height and everything. We are trying to decide, do we center on the wall or center it with the table? Cause it's all different. Cause I didn't really center the table with the light. Cause I don't want this too far out for when it rains, it just gets hit. But I definitely want this centered on the wall. So we'll have to figure it out. Um, on the camera, the TV looks really small. <laughs> it looks better in real life. <laughs> um, that's a good height. Is that a good height? Yeah. Okay. You might go, here's the deal. Do you want to go up a little bit just so if kids are walking? Or do you think it's, I guess either way. Somewhat low, just so you're not looking up? Yeah. Okay. But that's probably, what do you think right there? Right there is good. Okay. It'll, yeah. it'll be up against the wall most of the time, but we can pull it out if we need to. Yeah, we've got it where we can pull it out and face the pool. So if we're swimming and like want to show her like a game or something on, um, we can see it from the pool. We just got back, we picked out some flowers. Savvy always helps me. And so we got one of each of these for both sides. And then I bought these just to split up. She loved that purple. And then these are always my favorite. So I always grab those. So I'll split them up between the two um, pots.
Now I'm just kind of cleaning up out here. I got the flowers planted. I got it swept up. I need to do a little bit more. I need to water it, but I have to go turn it on. Um, but it is looking a lot better. I decided to go and stick the purple flowers over here because I didn't have a centerpiece. I'll eventually have to move them out because we get like zero sun under here. At first I was like, that's gonna be perfect. We'll have like purple flowers here. But then I remembered we don't get any sun. So maybe in the morning I'll pull them out and pull them back here in the evening. I'm not sure yet, but for now it looks pretty. Um, I've gotta get the rug ordered. What else? I'm gonna sweep a little bit more. Chase still has to put those chairs together. I'm still trying to figure out, we have the string lights. I'm just not sure how I want to do them this time, but I'm gonna go turn the hose on. I'm gonna sweep a little bit more, then I'm gonna go turn the hose on and get all these plants watered so I don't kill them on day one. Everything is watered. I will say at first it's always a little underwhelming and then as stuff like grows it fills in. I always try to leave a room because as it gets fuller but it's just so nice to have color out here again. I'm not a color person but I really missed having a color on my patio so I'm glad those got finished. The first itch to switch is happening. So originally I wanted this over here because it just makes more sense kind of like the last house but then I thought oh it'll be nice to have it here because we can see the pond but now that we're putting these chairs together and like looking at our master, I think I'd rather see this than this. So I think we're gonna flip all of this. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I will let go till you say so. There isn't anything I wouldn't do. Wanna make sure that you understand. I think this is gonna work better. We are replacing those curtains with black curtains, so that'll just look solid black. We still have two more of these chairs, but it takes a little bit to put together and we're about to take Savannah to dance, so I've just got it set up like that. But I think it's gonna work better. If we ever need to like bring chairs over here, we have all those chairs. Those are even pretty easy to move. They like fold up. Um, but I think that just looks best, especially since we have to see it out of our bedroom and that's how it was at the last house and i really liked having the um, like string lights outside our bedroom window it was just like a nice little glow so now i gotta figure out there how we're gonna do the string lights i need a rug there we'll finish assembling those but it's definitely coming together when savannah grows up i'd like to put flowers on these but right now they use them to jump off of so it's a beautiful day here in oklahoma love 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 green grass blue sky and white clouds and that's what we are getting today we just got back home and i picked up a few pieces for the table i will say this is normally here because you can do an umbrella but this has a hole in it and just in case water does get up here i think i'm gonna leave it like that so it can drain um, i got this to put in here i'm gonna cut this off i think you can hang it which i wouldn't do i'm gonna cut it off and put it in here and then we can see what it looks like looks really good it like makes a statement it's bold but it's simple it ties in the concrete look now we're measuring out for a rug so i can get one ordered i think i'm gonna do a really dark one kind of like that concrete i don't want a light rug outside because of this one 
and the other little one. Plus, like, this is light, the wood's light, so I think like having some type of gray rug would look good out here. These are why I'm not doing a white rug outside. Insides are ready enough. <laughs> Am I talking bad about you? Yeah. Say, I'm the clean one. It's the big one that's not. <laughs> Okay, it's a few days later, so I'm gonna get you caught up. Chase finished putting together the two other loungers we had. So since we already bought them, we can't really return them. I'm just gonna leave them there. I may grab two other loungers. I want some that lay flat so I can actually lay on my stomach. I don't know if I've said that. I keep saying I don't like these, but that's why. It's like good if you wanna tan your front, but I don't have a way to tan my back. What I like about these two is they show you can put them in the water, so I wouldn't leave them there. But like if I wanna lay out, I can stick them in there. So let me stand over here so you guys can get a better view. But we're gonna start the patio lights today. And I've been putting this off because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Here's how the chairs look. It's kind of hard to see back there. Um, but I knew I wanted the string lights over the fire pit area. Um, I just didn't want to do the same design that we've done every time. And so this time we're gonna do just kind of like a triangle or like a V basically. So I'm gonna hook them to this corner. When we built the house, I knew 110% I was gonna add an outlet on the side for our patio lights. Look at George, living his best life. Um, it's like I can't even talk to you guys because he's so cute. Um, so we were gonna add one here, which we did, but then we decided to go ahead and do the Christmas light package and we did it like on all the corners of the house for when Chase does Christmas lights. So we can put them anywhere now, but we're gonna hook it there. I want it to end here, so we're gonna hook them first and then figure out which way we wanna come out and we're gonna add a pole for them to come to. So it'll just be like one dramatic big swoop instead of like four little tiny ones. It's gonna be one massive one because I want it different and that's the only thing I can come up with. <laughs> so um, Chase got a big old piece of wood. We wanted metal, but we couldn't find anything tall enough. So we're gonna paint it black. We got concrete to put it in the ground. We've had these lights since the old house. We knew we needed them, so when they went on sale, we grabbed them. So we have everything we need. It's just, we gotta do it. It's a hot day, but I'm so ready to sit out here in the evenings and have the lights on. It's just so nice than having like your big light on, but oh, look at today. Isn't it gorgeous? I hope we never lose this. We may have to buy this one day to not lose it, but I just really hope we don't lose it. Okay, if you're wondering how Chase hooks them up, I'll show you once it's done, but he uses these hooks and then you put a, uh, what kind of thing do you put? What do you mean, like screws? No, how do you hook the light onto it? The zip tie. Oh, do you, the zip tie, Do yeah. you zip tie it to this? Or you can tie a knot with the string lights. Okay. Uh, you can tie a knot around it or zip ties, yep. But there's nothing fancy, it's just this little, little hook look at that sky oh i just can't get over it and george is loving it he's living his best life out here guys if you're worried about the dogs they love it i think they love having their more freedom i'll link these exact ones right we got these yeah. off amazon um so it comes with we got two strands it was a deal that you know yeah. one of my deal chaser deals it was 50 percent off so i'll have to see if i can get another code for you yeah but if not we'll link them just so you know the brand and everything it comes with the light bulbs i had them out last night so i tried to not get them tangled <laughs> but it also came with the zip ties which was really nice it came with two bags of them so if you need them to use george can you hear him? He's like oranking, like he's snorting he's like a pig. pig. <laughs> I think he was inside while we were running errands and he got too cold. He likes the warm sun on him. <laughs>
Okay, we have it set. It's looking good. Obviously, we'll move the pieces of wood later. It's just keeping it all even. Um, once again, we're going to use one of these hooks to hang it, but I'm going to be painting this black this time. At the last house, we did white. At the first house, we did black. We're going to do black here because I got black lights. Um, so this needs to be black. So I just grabbed a can of spray paint and I'm going to spray paint it black real quickly. I'll let that dry for a little bit and then I'll flip it just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But honestly, you're not going to see it because it's going to be so far up there on black. But it is just good to get all of it. So you don't have any spots that drive you crazy one day. Okay, so it's still drying, but it's dry enough that I can paint it. So I just picked up like a roller um, and there was paint left over from when they painted like the doors on our house. So I'm going to paint as high up as I can go. And then Chase is going to get on the ladder and go the rest of the way. And then we'll be able to screw on the hook. We're going to make sure this is really dry before we hook on the lights, just because there's going to be so much tension. We don't want this to like pull forward at all, um, but we can at least paint because that's not going to do much to it. I was able to get the majority of it. You can see right there, it's only the top. Um, and it was really easy to roll on. So it is gonna need two coats. I can tell on this side in the sun. I don't know if you can tell, I can still see streaks in it, but super easy to do. That's actually gonna be probably one of the easiest things we do so today. We left a little bit of a gap. We're hoping if we put dirt and a layer of the sod back over, it'll survive. It may not, if not one day it'll grow up around it. It's just what it'll do, but I think it'll eventually cover it. But we're hoping just like adding dirt and then putting the salt that was there before, maybe it'll just, maybe it'll work. You never maybe. Know. If but not, it'll, it'll at least grow it, in from the other. Exactly. It'll, it'll help at least get at the same level and then the other grass will grow in around it. show them later when it gets darker but it's already getting a little darker now so you can see them I feel like I can see them better in real life than on camera but they look really good let me see if I turn my camera down a little bit they're looking really good okay guys I'm loving how it turned out um, it's kind of hard to see on camera so I'll let it get darker and then I'll pop back on here but um, the sun's going down and so I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. I love that it's just like grand and bold. I definitely wanted to do something busy. You can see all Savannah's inflatables back there. She's been swimming. Um, but at night I put them like in the trampoline so they won't blow away. But it looks good. That was a really easy project. Like it only took a few hours. Um, I think it helped only doing one pull, but it was something that did not take long at all if you're wanting to do something like it. It was super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're not caught up, I have tons of makeover videos posted because we just got moved into this house. You can definitely check them out and definitely make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss any of the future videos coming out because we still have a few more places we have to work on. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.